Hey guys, um, so I'm still really sick, so you'll have to excuse my voice. I really wasn't going to film today. I was like, no, I'll just do it when I'm feeling better. But I was like, no, I need to push myself. I've been in bed. I've been off work since Tuesday and it's Sunday now. So like, what, six days? Wait, no, I went to work on Tuesday. Five days. Um, and I filmed like one video. <laughs> Like, I mean, it's been fine because I've been sick, so, like, I've needed the time to rest. I just had a hair in my eye. Ew, I hate that. Um, yeah, I just had, like, I've needed, like, the time to rest and stuff, so it's been fine. But uh, I was like, no, it's time. We've just got to push ourselves. we just got to get this stuff done. Um, so today I'm doing a, a vampire look. So this is the second tutorial in the, in my, like, my Halloween series. I don't, it's not really, like, a series. I'm just doing some Halloween looks. Um, and I thought I'd start like a month or so earlier just so you guys actually have time to prepare if that makes sense like there's no point doing heaps of Halloween tutorials the week before Halloween because it's like well then no one has time to prepare but anyway I'm going to first jump into my blood sugar palette For those of you who have not seen the palette it looks like this it is spectacular I love this palette um, so yeah, the vibe today is reds and black, pretty much. I think what I'm first going to do is go in... Zoom you in first, actually. That's fine. Okay, the first colour I'm going to go into is this colour here called Fresh Meat. It's like a very dark red. And I'm going to start um, just by... That is so pigmented. I just kind of want to put it down here, just running it along like my lash line. This is such a beautiful colour. So yeah, just like that. This will be a little bit different. It's not going to be like a full on eyeshadow look because um, it's like I feel like vampires aren't into that. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I want this to be just kind of just like, I don't know, I just wanted to incorporate red into the look um please if you see any dry bits on my face do not look at them um as i said i'm sick and i'm just dry at the moment extremely dry everywhere hope this is gonna look okay anyway the next color i'm going to go into is this shade here wait or is it that one wait no i want this one i want this shade this shade and it's called cherry soda and I'm just um kind of actually I'm gonna take a different brush and I'm gonna use that shade to like blend the edge of this pretty much I've never done something like this before so I was pretty nervous and I was like oh maybe I should just feel like a you know like a get ready with me but I was like I feel like every time something scares me I kind of back down from it and I don't want to do that um, so I was like no you know I can do this let's just go for it so that's what I'm doing I think the good thing about Halloween looks is they don't have to be perfect and precise and they don't always have to make sense like you know <laughs> something can look like crap and you can be like no that's how it's meant to look because it's Halloween <laughs> Um, so it's good. It's a good time to practice and try out some looks that you probably normally wouldn't do. Just want to get this, um, like a nice shape. So now I'm going to take this off, my tape, and we're going to go into my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner. And mine's in the shade black. We're gonna do some liner. So try and do like that kind of thing. I actually haven't used my NYX liner in so long. I forgot how precise I was. <clears throat> now I'm just going to grab a cotton thingy 
and we're going to clean it up. Okay. Looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to go off camera and do the other liner just so we can save a little bit of time. Um, I might put lashes and stuff on as well while I'm there because that's not going to change. <laughs> like, I'm just going to put some lashes on and then I'll come back and show you how we do the rest of the look. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I was actually gone for a little while because my sister messaged me and told me there were pancakes inside, so... I wanted to have some pancakes, but I have my lashes and mascara and stuff on now. Um, I just used the Benefit Their Real Mascara Primer. Um, I used the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and then I used the EXO Beauty Thunder Lashes. Um, so now it's just time to do the face. I was going to use my white face paint, but I wanted to still kind of make it look a little bit glam if that makes sense and I just didn't want to use the white face paint because I don't know I guess not everyone has white face paint so a light foundation will do um, so first I'm going in with my unicorn essence um, from Fasali um, I just kind of want my skin ooh, to glow um, because I feel like I don't know you know like they're foreign creatures, so I feel like they're going to be a little bit glowy and a little bit, you know, I don't want to make her too matte. Okay, I'm going to take my Exo Beauty a Flawless Finish Sponge and I'm going to wet it. Um, I'll just take my MAC Fix Plus, get it all wet. Um, so usually I complain about how light this foundation is, but today it's actually going to work out for me because we need a light foundation. So I'm taking my Huda Beauty Faux Filter. Um, high coverage cream foundation. Mine is in the shade vanilla 120B. And honestly, it does kind of match me, but it's just so light. Um, but that's going to be good today. So yeah, we're just going to press it in to the skin. Kind of bounce. Bounce it over. Um, I think the contrast is gonna look really cool. Of like, you know, the super dark colours and then the super light skin. It's gonna look get that really good desired effect that um I was going for, you know? Van I'm pretty much a vampire because I don't go and get sun. Like I stay indoors. <laughs> Vampires have the right idea. <laughs> um so obviously because they stay indoor they're quite pale um so that's why we're going for a lighter foundation today and yeah as i said the contrast is going to look really cool it's just going to make that black and that red like pop because it's going to be against like a super white base i'm just dragging some under my neck i'm pretty pale anyway but you know it's going to be so hard to cover my nose up because it's so dry i feel like the foundation is just going to like flake off okay so now we have the foundation on i'm looking sick and that's what we need <laughs> um so i'm actually going to take some concealer today um i'm just taking the huda beauty this is kind of like hurting my skin like my skin just feels irritated i think it's just because my skin is in such a fragile state at the moment um but anyway i'm just taking the um actually no i'm not gonna go on with this i'm gonna go with my fenty beauty one because it is so light um, so I'm just going to do what I would normally do with my concealer, which is just put it highlighted spots, you know. Just because we're a vampire doesn't mean we can't be sculpted. Um, and this is good because it's also going to make me look very pale as well. The reason I opted for my Fenty Beauty one is because it's extremely pale. It's in the shade, um... 100. Okay. Now I'm going in with the Hourglass Translu Translucent Setting Powder. Um, I only have a mini, but I'm just going to use this to set my whole face. Um, but first I'm just going to put it under the under eyes. Just press it into the under eyes. So we don't get any creasing. God, that just makes it look so smooth. Like, just go 
can't actually. Wow. This stuff's incredible. Now I'm just going to put it on the rest of my face. Um, the reason I'm not using a pressed powder today is because I don't want to add any colour. Um, this has a slight tinge of colour, but it's like translucent, so um, it's not going to add any extra colour. Which normally I would use a, trans a lack of pressed powder to add a little bit more colour into my foundation and my skin. And I don't want that today. <laughs> now we're going to go back into the blood sugar palette. And we're going to go... I think the very first colour I'm going to take is this really dark purple here. And it's called Homer. So I'm just going to put press that like really close into the lash line. And then I'm going to go over the top of that with the Fresh Meat colour. Then lastly, go back into Cherry Soda, which is like the dark red. And use that. Just like that. So I'm just going to repeat those steps. So it's going in with that really dark purple. And with fresh meat. And then with cherry soda. Okay, um, and then I'm just gonna quickly go back in with my liner because um I've just taken a bit of the blackness away from putting those shadows over it, and I'm just gonna reline that black bit. Okay, and then just bottom lash mascara. We're going back in with my Tart last camera lashes. <coughs> Can't talk. This is making my eyes look very green. Love it. Bum, bum, bum. See, I wish I wasn't scared of contacts because I could do some cool things with contacts, but no things. I kind of want to highlight. I've got an idea. I'm going to do it in with my XO Beauty highlight powder because this um, is very glowy, but it doesn't look like, it just looks very like glow from within, if you know what I mean. I'm gonna take a bit of this on a bigger brush and just kind of pat it into my skin as well, just to, for a kind of all over glow. I love this stuff so much, it's so good for like a natural, natural glow. Now I have this Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Leo, it's like this really dark red. I'm just going to line my lips. Oh, here it looks more like a purple, but it is red. I think, I don't know. Then for lipstick today, I'm taking a Jeffree Star Cosmetics Below liquid lipstick in the shade Wifey. I love this red. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> then I kind of want to do like a little smear like that. I'm gonna add some. Um, I'm gonna add some fake blood, but first I want to put a wig and stuff on, and I don't want to muck around while trying to get my wig on with the fake blood. So um, I'm gonna go get my wig, and then I'll be back. Okay, so I have my wig on now, and what I want to do is go into my NYX liquid liner, and I just want to draw like the kind of, you know, how they have the little this thing. Like the little hairline, I guess. Probably shouldn't have done this because now I have to colour in all around here, which is just gonna be a pain. Why did I do that? But you know what I was going for? Like the whole kind of. Okay, I might just like. <laughs> I 
I'm just gonna go like that. Whatever, <laughs> it's just gonna have to do, to be honest. Um, okay, and now I'm just gonna take my fake blur and I just wanna put a little bit near my mouse. And just here. Okay, I'm too scared to move because I don't want this a fake blood to go into my wig. But this is the finished look, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I feel like the blue's throwing me off a little bit, like the blue in the wig. I love this wig so much, but I feel like it would look better if it was just straight black. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!